Jill and Patty Dodd love animals, especially dogs. So when their five-year-old Shih Tzu, Clover, was stolen right out of their front yard last month, they were heartbroken. We don't have any children. Clover was like a child to us. I can't describe how much it hurts. The Dodds put up signs all over their neighborhood offering a $300 reward for Clover's return. But five weeks later, she still hasn't turned up. The Dodds are just one of thousands of families in the metro area who have had their pets stolen. Usually, the police can't or won't do much to help. All you can do is hope someone out there wants your reward badly enough to send your dog home. You have a lot of evil people out there. In there. Detective M.C. Cox of the Atlanta Police Department is one of the few officers in town who's been investigating the dog napping problem. Today, he met with the Dodds and with Margot Zaglin, whose miniature schnauzer Griff was stolen six weeks ago. We can't show you Detective Cox's face because he's working undercover, but he had some very interesting things to say about this growing crime problem. Uh, it's widespread, basically in the metropolitan area and all around. It's, uh, since I began to look into the investigation, uh, it is a large problem. How large would you say it was? I, I would guess about thousands and thousands of dogs a year are stolen. Usually, Cox says, dog nappers do one of two things. They either wait until the owners post a reward, then simply collect, or they sell the stolen dogs at out-of-state flea markets. No pun intended. But even though dog napping is considered to be a felony, dog nappers are almost impossible to catch. And when they are caught, the crime is almost impossible to prove. In fact, there has never been a single case of dog napping that's ever come to trial in Fulton County. So, police recommend that dog owners take the following precautions. First, have your pet tattooed, preferably inside a hind leg, to identify him as yours. Take pictures of your dog from all angles. Never let your dog run free. Always keep an eye on him. And if he is stolen, report it to police immediately. It's a crime just like any other theft, only much more heartbreaking. B.B. Emmerman, Action News.